Hi, I'm Eric with MyBoringChannel.com and I help people start websites. Now, three things I want you to remember. Number one, you don't have to be tech savvy in order to do this. I'm a teacher and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Number two, we're going to do this for less than the cost of a latte per month. That means you're going to save yourself a lot of money because you're not going to be hiring a web designer. Number three, your website's going to look very, very professional because we're going to be using WordPress the most powerful and popular website building software on the face of the planet. So get rid of your fears, your worries, and your doubts, and let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find a good web host. Now, in my previous video, I showed you how to get a domain name. So you got your domain name already. Now today we're going to get a web host and we're going to connect our domain name to our web host. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to have to do is click on the link underneath my video in the description. So here's another video I have and underneath it in the description I have a link that leads to InMotion Hosting. It'll look something like this. So go ahead and click that link and it will take you to this page. This is my landing page for InMotion Hosting. You can see up here, up to 56% off business hosting plans for My Boring Channel visitors. Okay, if you don't click my link, you don't get this price, $3.49 per month. That is a killer price for a killer web host. InMotion Hosting is the web host that I have used myself for the last five years. I've tried multiple web hosts since 1998, and InMotion Hosting is my favorite. Like I said, I use them for all my websites. My favorite feature is the 24-7 in-house technical support. You can call them in the middle of the night on Christmas Eve and get support for your website. InMotion is an amazing company with awesome customer service. They also have solid state drives for all their hosting plans. They're just a top-notch company. We're going to go ahead and choose the launch plan because that is sufficient for most people. So go ahead and click order now. And then here's what we have. We're going to choose the launch plan for 24 months. That's what's going to give us the best price. Now we do have to pay that up front. Some of you may not like that, but in order to get a web host of this caliber for this price, you got to sign up for two years in advance. Now you can sign up for 12 months, in which case you're going to get $3.99 per month instead. That's still a great deal, but for me personally, I would go with the 24 month plan. So once you've chosen the one you want, go ahead and click continue down below. On this page, we're going to go ahead and tick the second box that says, I already own this domain or will handle the registration separately. And here is where you're going to put the domain name that you purchased when you watched my first video. Okay? And for me, that's called boringtips.com. So then I will click continue. Now on this page, there are some upgrades and things that they're trying to get you to buy. Forget it. You don't need them. Go ahead and click continue. Now on this page, you need to fill out all your personal information. There's a very important box down here, and we're going to click this little circle right here that says Install WordPress. Then we're going to fill out our payment information, and at the end of this page, we're going to click Purchase Account. And like it says here, please click only once. Okay, now we've reached this page, and it says Congratulations, your order has been approved. You'll receive your welcome email shortly, which contains all the information you'll need to get started. So now what we're going to need to do is check our email address so that we can get started. It's important to note that in this email, you're going to have two sets of login information. You're going to have your AMP login information, and that's right here. And that allows you to log into InMotion's website. Uh, where you can control the back end to your website. You can add domain names, you can set up your email addresses. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff here, but this is not the place where you will spend the most time. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see the second set of login information that you'll receive. And this is for your actual website. This is the information you will be using the most often. This is very important information. This is the URL to log into your website boringtips.com forward slash WP admin. This is the username you will use to log into your WordPress website. And this is the password that you will use to log into your WordPress website. So this is the information that you're going to need. Write this stuff down in a safe location 
and do not lose it. It's very important. Okay. Also, this information at the beginning of the email, the AMP login information to log into InMotion's website, it, this is also very important information. Please write this down and don't lose it. Now, like I said, you're not going to be logging into InMotion that often, but you're going to be logging into, into your actual WordPress website a lot. The first thing you need to do is click this button here that says to get started, set your password here. Here is your login information right here for InMotion. So let's go ahead and click this button here. That takes us to this page where we're going to set our password. And then we will click Submit. Be sure to write your password down in a place that you can find it later. So if we go ahead on over to BoringTips.com, which is our new website, well that's my new website, I can see that I'm not seeing my WordPress website here. This is not WordPress. And so I'm wondering why is my website not showing up? And the answer is that I have not yet assigned name servers. In order to do that, I have to go back to Namecheap. This is where I signed up for my domain name. And you would know that if you had watched my previous video. So what you need to do is you need to log in, which will be right up here. And then once you're here, hover over your username and then click on dashboard right here. Now, once you're in your dashboard, you will see the domain name in question. Go over to the right and click manage. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see name servers right here. Go ahead and click on the little down arrow right here, and then click on custom DNS. Now, in name server one, we're going to put exactly what I've pasted right here, ns.inmotionhosting.com. And in name server two, we're gonna type in exactly what I just pasted here, ns2.inmotionhosting.com. This is a very important step. If you don't get this right, your website will not work. And once you do this step, it may take some time for your website to become active. So let's go ahead and click this little checkbox right here, which is our save button. And now we have successfully changed our name servers. Now see what it says here? DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. That means your WordPress website may not be live for 48 hours. Typically, it happens a lot faster than that. Okay, I've gone ahead and waited about an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and try to refresh this page now and see if my website is active. Remember, this can take up to 48 hours. Okay, refresh and boom, there it is. This is my website. This is my WordPress website. So now I've done everything I need to do. I've got my domain name, I've got my web hosting, and now here is my website at boringtips.com. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you before we move on to a new video is how to log in here. So go back to your welcome email from InMotion and remember the login information that we had down here. This is the information you need to log into your website. So here's the URL, boringtips.com forward slash WP admin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add at the end of this forward slash WP admin like that. Now you could just click on the link in the email if you want, but I'm showing you how this looks. Okay, and then click enter. And then here's your login information. So back to the email. And here's my username right here. I'm gonna copy that. And I'm going to paste it right there. And then here is my password right here. I'm gonna copy that. And I'm going to paste that right here. And then I like to click remember me and I'm gonna click login. Boom, here is the back end to my WordPress website. This is where I make all my changes. This is where I change the theme, add pages, add posts, create links, insert movies, pictures. This is where I do all my creative work. And when I make changes in here, they will appear on my website here. Okay, and that's coming in a future video. So for now, you've got your domain name, you've got your web host, and you've installed WordPress, and you know how to log in and start making changes. So I'm working on some videos right now, and what I'm gonna show you how to do pretty much, I'm not gonna show you everything I've done in this site, but I'm gonna show you how to make this site. We're gonna use the same theme. I'm gonna show you how to set up your sidebar. I'm gonna show you how to set up your footer. I'm gonna show you how to make links and do block quotes and things like that and how to do a header like this and how to make menus and things like that. So your website's gonna end up looking something similar to this if you follow along with my tutorials. Thank you for watching today. I hope you learned a lot. You now have a domain name, you have a web host, and you have WordPress installed you're now ready to start learning WordPress, which is what we're gonna do in our upcoming videos.
Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe.